Over the past 30 days, I trained my forearms every single day. This is what happened. Yo, what's up guys? It's Ski Mask Duets here. I came to a realization recently. My forearms are small. Now, I really wanted to change that, so I decided I was going to train them for 30 days straight. The goal was to see how fast I could grow them in such a short amount of time. Over the last 30 days, I completed these exercises on a daily basis. Five sets of dead hangs to failure. Two sets of wrist curls and two sets of wrist extensions. Two sets of wrist pronation and two sets of wrist supination. On top of that, I added these magic devices right here fat grips these are a game changer basically you put them around any weight you're using to make the handle a lot thicker so it's harder to grab onto i used these on all my exercises it didn't matter what i was doing if i had a weight to grab i was throwing these on to make it harder basically it forces your forearm muscle to be recruited during any movements these were my measurements on day one of this challenge now both my wrists were a measly six and a half inches very small very thin i know i'm aware and actually i think the last girl i dealt with had thicker wrists than me which is pretty sad my forearms with no pump flexed were 12 and a half inches it's not that bad considering they were vascular ish but since i have 16 inch arms flexed i figured they should probably be closer to 14 inches for maximum aesthetics so now that i had a goal in mind and i have the routine i'm going to be doing it was time to get to work the first day of training forearms was actually insane because i had the most intense pump i've ever had in my forearms i could barely open my hands or bend my wrists it was actually insanely painful now honestly it was very similar to getting an erection for the first time where you're just confused as f you don't even know what's going on and why is there so much blood flow and why am i enjoying it one thing that sucked was since my forearms were so underdeveloped i wasn't even able to finish all the exercises that i was planning on doing also these freaking fat grips made my workouts a nightmare i had to cut a majority of the weights i normally use in half because i literally could not grip the weights because of the fat grips every other muscle in my body is strong enough to handle it but but I cannot hold the weight because my forearms are so weak and underdeveloped, bro. But it was okay because I did not mind sacrificing a little bit of upper body gains so we can let the forearms catch up. This is where it started getting painful. On day two, I woke up with excruciating forearm and wrist pain, bro. It was intense. And it was so painful that I could not even carry out my normal daily activities. Indefeasibility. Yo, ski. Ski. What the hell? Yeah? Hey, ski, help me out, bro. What the heck? What the hell? You good? You need help? I need to handle something real quick, bro. Please. In the bathroom? Yeah, yeah, in the bathroom, bro. Please, just, just help me. Um. Out. All right, bro. Yeah. Sure, yeah. What do you need help with, bro? What? Oh my God, bro. Please, please, bro. bro you insane? Know what's weird. Just help me out, bro. I can't bro, do it. My forearms are sore, bro. Sick, bro. My forearms sick, bro. are too sore. Help me, bro. So I decided. Obviously, I have to carry on with the challenge, anyways. We have a goal. We have requirements to meet. But I just decided to use way lighter weights. Also, I made sure I was frequently stretching my forearms in every direction I could to make sure that they would recover quicker. So after the first week of training, my forearms finally started to adapt, and uh, things were looking a little bit better however i still hadn't noticed any really like serious change in size or vascularity yet it only been seven days nothing really happened yet however i did notice they were starting to be able to handle higher volume and heavier weights and they were recovering a lot faster so that was really good so throughout the second week now i started having my least favorite and my most favorite forearm exercises i was starting to actually like enjoy the training the one exercise i loved was the pronation and the supination i don't freaking know why but for some reason this this movement a lot of arm wrestlers do this shit bro it gave me the craziest forearm pump and I, the most vascularity though those were definitely my favorite my least favorite was easily easily the dead hangs i don't know what it is i don't know why i just hate hanging on a bar and doing nothing i don't know i still did my five sets but honestly i really hated it the way i was going about the dead hangs was i actually got this from another youtuber named pygmy which is the five sets of dead hangs on the dead hangs you're supposed to hang for as long as you can let's say you do 30 seconds as long as you hang that's how long you rest and you go back to back if you get 30 seconds you rest for 30 seconds your second set let's say you get 24 now you rest for 24 seconds you repeat until you do it five times rest and hang time should be the same now at the end of the second week day 14 i was definitely noticing some serious strength gains on my forearms and i was finally able to start like seeing a difference in size especially when my forearms were pumped you could tell a lot of people were starting to notice too the vascularity was improving and they were starting to get a bit girthier now that we're two weeks in the challenge was starting to become a lot more fun and a lot less painful and i was actually really looking forward to training 
trading forearms. Throughout the third week, for some odd reason, my forearm strength literally blew up. It just started to take off. I went from using the 30 pound barbell on wrist curls, barely being able to do that, to using the 50 pound one with pretty strict form on the curls and the extensions. Also, I started with the 15 and 20 pound kettlebell for wrist pronation and supination, and I was able to use the 25 now. And I even got up to being able to use the 30 pound kettlebell towards the end of the challenge, which was insane. That's like double the weight I started. There was definitely a large size increase in my forearms as well. You could tell, but it wasn't time to measure yet. So I didn't want to look at the numbers. I just kept enjoying the size increase. Another interesting thing was my dead hang time was improving severely. Every time I was going in every week, my dead hang time was increasing a lot. During the third week, I, when I started, I was barely doing a 30 second hang. And during the third week, I hit a minute. So it, before the challenge even ended, I doubled my time and I was able to hang from, you know, cold, fresh, a, a minute on the bar, which is pretty impressive for myself. By the end, week four, I was really only going to the gym to train forearms. So the way I was going about this was whatever muscle I was training at the end of the workout, I was doing forearms. And so I was kind of just pushing quickly through my regular workouts because I was excited to train forms. Isn't that insane? Like I actually started not caring as much about the other muscles. And I was like, I just, I just want to train forms. I just want to do some curls, some wrist curls. And my forms by this time were getting a lot thicker and denser and they were getting way girthier and way veinier. If you know what I'm talking about, people were really starting to notice my increase in girth and veinage. Now, by the time I finished out the fourth week and I got to day 30, I learned something really important from this challenge. In the beginning, I really didn't want to train my forearms, nor did I enjoy it because they were small and weak. It wasn't it wasn't enjoyable. I was like just doing this for the video, doing this because it was a weakness and I had to improve. I was in a lot of pain too from the exercises. It was starting to annoy my wrists and I didn't really have any pain tolerance. So I wasn't even pushing the forearm exercises as much as I could have been. However, as I put the work in, my forearms started to grow and as they grew, it became a lot more fun to train them i started enjoying training my forearms and that was when i learned in life you're supposed to suck at something in the beginning when you want to learn something new this is part of the process it sucks getting started you don't want to do it and it's really hard it's not supposed to be fun and that's exactly why you're supposed to stick with it the better you get at something the more fun it is to do fun doesn't come from doing easy things it comes from getting good at doing the hard things it's like that saying where they say the weight doesn't get lighter you just get stronger that is the way to enjoy life you have to get good at doing difficult things i just want you to know that if there's something out there you want to start doing a skill something you want to progress in something you want to develop it's gonna suck in the beginning and you might not even enjoy it and just stick to it because i promise you that's normal that's all part of the process you're not supposed to be good from the jump but if you don't quit eventually you will get really good and you will start to enjoy it especially a lot of you noobs in the gym i get a lot of comments saying i've been going for two weeks and I'm, i don't enjoy the gym and i just want to quit already trust me it gets better as you get better okay i am done being a philosopher now let's get on to the results which is the reason why you clicked this video did my forearms grow or not bro these are the results of 30 days of daily forearm training on day one my wrists were six and a half inches and on day 30 they are still six and a half inches yeah i don't know for whatever reason but my wrist didn't get thicker oh well maybe they will in the future it's okay it doesn't matter must have been a skill issue really on day one my forearms with no pump flexed were 12 and a half inches on day 30 they were just over 13 inches so I had a little bit over a half an inch forearm growth, which is a pretty big jump in only 30 days, really. If I do this continuously for the next three months, I'm sure they'll eventually hit 14 inches. And another cool thing is I noticed they got way more vascular so much. Even in the colds, I'll have more veins than I normally do. So I definitely get way more veinage. On day one, my dead hang time was a measly in a despicable 30 seconds. On day 30, I managed to get a little bit over a minute. It was like a minute and like five, 10 seconds, something like that, which for me, I'm not shredded anymore. I'm actually pretty big. I'm a little bit heavier. I'm 195 right now because I've been really bulking. So it's easier to do when you're lean. But so for me, that's a big deal. That's, that's probably a lifetime PR. I can't remember a time where I hung for longer than a minute. On day one, I was doing wrist pronation and supination with the 15 pound kettlebell. On day 30, I was doing it pretty clean, strict reps with the 30 pound. I doubled the freaking weight. So as you guys can see, I made some pretty serious, pretty legitimate forearm gains in only 30 days. Now I still do want to hit my goal of eventually getting them to 14 inches because that on my frame will be very noticeable. I'll be having those mechanic forearms, bro, those grown dad forearms. I actually really enjoy training forearms now. It is something I still look forward to. Like I said, 
when you get good at doing something hard it becomes fun so with that being said if you guys out there want to train your forearms i hope this video was helpful i hope you too can make some crazy forearm gains so you can not only choke the chicken but choke that chicken to death with that being said this is ski mask duets signing out let's create the best version of ourselves to give to the world okay peace Hey, Ski, help me out, bro.